I'm going to start this off with saying, do not check the comment section as this will spoil this insane story. Make sure to watch the video all the way through as this video is going to blow your mind. I have found something that literally nobody else on ARK has ever found. There's no videos, no forums, and no reddit posts anywhere that show even a hint to any of this. It quite literally makes no sense. Now let me ask you a question. Out of all 12 maps, which one is the most known but often overlooked? I'll give you a few seconds to think of this. Now some of you may have said Aberration or Scorched Earth, but the most overlooked map is Ragnarok. Ragnarok has always seemed to have something hidden about the map. It is nearly a perfect map with every region needed for a great map, but Ragnarok has always seemed to be hiding something. What you're about to hear is going to change how you view Ragnarok forever. Since the release of Ragnarok on June 12th, 2017, the new map excited the ARK community. Many can say it saved ARK as the daily player base rose very fast from this. You see, Ragnarok changed ARK at the time forever. It added in-world bosses, something that ARK had never seen before, and it also added griffins which were an insane new dino to add to your tribe. It was also the biggest map at the time. But Ragnarok had a gruesome story hidden deep in the depths of the map. It all began on June 2nd, 2022. I was wandering Ragnarok in the Olaf jungle near Blue Ob, just farming, getting some metal under this waterfall, when the weirdest thing happened. I died. I took this screenshot not thinking much of it as Ark has bugs and it could have just been mesh protection bugging out and killing me. 24 hours later, I was in the same spot farming metal and suddenly I died again. This time I noted down that I died at 2.11 am. I decided to do some research and realized that mess protection isn't on single player servers, which is what I was on at the time, so now things got a little weird. There was nothing killing me, I was just dying instantly. I decided to take a video this time, and this is what happened. Nothing. For some reason, I didn't die this time. I made sure I was in the same spot at 2.11 am arc time, and this time I didn't die. It was like the game knew I was recording and just didn't kill me this time. Anyways, not thinking much of it, my base was right around the corner, so this was my main metal farming spot. I begun farming again. To my surprise, I died again. It's weird. It's like when I don't record it kills me, but when I do record it can sense it and will not kill me. I decided to do some research on this bug and there was nothing. No forums, reddit posts, or youtube videos. I was very confused, so I decided to look around the internet on the developers who made the map. I found a girl named Carrie Felch, who is a senior map developer. I decided to send her an email. The email consisted of this. Hello, my name is Josh. I was wondering if you did work on developing the map Ragnarok. Not even two minutes later, she simply answered yes. This was a shock to me, so I didn't really know what to say as she answered so fast. A few minutes later, I sent back another email asking if she knew why I kept dying at exactly 2.11 am at the coordinates of 20 latitude and 26 longitude on Ragnarok. I waited about an hour and there was still no response. I sent the email again thinking maybe she didn't see it and still no response. Eight days have gone by and still no response. I was starting to worry, maybe she was busy or just didn't care. I sent the email one more time. One day later, 
and within seconds got a response that just said, Morgan Reitlin, the island, 14.9 latitude, 85.0 longitude. This information was very odd. Just a name, a map, and some coordinates? I didn't know what to expect when I got here. When I got to the coordinates, I was looking around, but I didn't see anything. Just rocks. Until it dawned on me. There was a phrase carved in the rock saying Morgan R was here, 52515. I had never seen this before and never heard anything about it. But how has this been here since 2015 and I'm just now finding out about it 8 years later? This doesn't make any sense. Why does an issue I was having on Ragnarok end up going all the way back 2 years prior onto the island? So I decided to do some research. I decided to look up the name Morgan Reitlin, and you won't believe what I found. Morgan Reitlin, born 12 February 1945, is an Australian murderer and the first woman in the country's history to be sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. She was convicted for the murder of eight unidentified men. Morgan stabbed them to death, skinned them, and then put their skinned bodies on meat hooks. She then cooked their heads and parts of their bodies with the intention of feeding them to her children. She would keep the bodies in cages and let them bleed out until they died. Morgan would then throw the bodies off of Chester Bridge near her home. Morgan would kill another victim each day for 8 continuous days and throw their bodies at exactly 2.11am off of Chester Bridge into the Olaf Jungle. The Olaf Jungle is the spot in game where I was farming metal. By pressing H on your keyboard, you can see different areas of the map in the top left corner and each area has its own name. But why is a spot in game named after a spot where a serial killer was murdering many people in real life? I decided to go back to the area where I died, but this time during the day. In the wiki page, it says that she skinned their bodies and threw them off of Chester Bridge. If you look up from where I'm farming, there's a bridge. Could this be linked to the wiki page? I started to walk up to the top of the bridge when I found this little entrance next to the bridge leading into the side of the mountain. It was the ruins of what looked to be some kind of home. When I walked in, there was one dead body laying on the ground and it had the skin of its head and arm ripped off. When you walk further back into this cave-like area, there are cages everywhere one of the things that is stated in the wiki page. There is another dead body in a cage being hung from a chain and it's completely skinned with just flesh showing. On the other side of this cave, there is a third body that is chained onto the board with its body fully skinned. There is two more bodies in here locked in cages, totaling out to five dead bodies. But there are three missing. Either way, this matches the wiki page about Morgan Reitland perfectly. But where are the three missing bodies, and how could Carrie Felch, the map developer, add such a horrible real-life murder into the game? This information really doesn't make sense. The date on the rock was written 52515. I didn't think much of this date until I realized on the wiki page it says she was murdered on 52515. If she was murdered on 52515, how did she put this on a rock? The wiki page said that the killer was unknown to this day. It started to add up very quickly. Was Carrie Felch, the map developer, the one who murdered Morgan Reitlin? I decided to email Carrie Felch, Ragnarok's map developer, again. I said, why would you put this in the game? This has to be the worst murder I've ever heard of, and you just decided to put it in a video game? I got no response, so I sent another email just saying, you killed Morgan Reitland, didn't you? Still, no response. I decided to check the website where I found her name on to look for other developers when the craziest thing happened. Carrie Felch's name was gone from the website where I found her information on. It's like she just disappeared. But you want to know the worst of all of this? I just made it all up. There is no Morgan Reitland, and there is no Carrie Felch. There is no connection between all of these in-game areas. They are just easter eggs that the devs added in. Now you may be asking, what was the point in making this video? 
Well, if I can make up a good story of someone who didn't even exist, Ark can make a better story of why they still have cheaters and measures playing Ark today. Fix your game, Studio Wildcard.